Manel Mill was a Pillsbury shop that was owned by General Mills. We had about 150 folks in the shop. And General Mills at some point decided that it wasn't a high enough margin business and they were gonna close the facility. I'm Nick Wolf with the local 57, BCTGM out of Martell, Ohio. Manel Milling, been there 26 years. It was a shock. Everybody on the floor kind of had our own uh, idea of what might be going on and, and things that were happening, but it was kind of a shock when we got brought back and, and told that the facility was gonna close. We did effects bargaining with General Mills, got the folks a good settlement, and right around that time, Manel Mill, which supplied the flour to the plant, decided that they would be interested in purchasing the business and the facility. They wanted to recognize the union, but we needed to retain a certain amount of employees to do that, which you know we did. We encouraged them that, hey, you know, we need to bring as many people to keep this facility running and as many of the people that were already trained had been at this facility for a long time for this to be a successful business for them. So they really needed our workers. And so we had to negotiate a contract with Manel as, as soon as we finished the one with General Mills, but it was like starting over from scratch. It was a tough negotiation. Uh, we realized that this was a, a brand new contract. Fortunately, we were successful. You couldn't have a better ending to a possible plant closing like this. All the parties won. It was great for the union, it was great for the company, but it was most especially important and great for the folks. It's a very nice feeling to have somebody who's got your back. To be able to live your life outside of work so your work is protected by the union so you can live a good life outside of that. Educate, organize, resist, and persist. <laughs>